contest construction. More thoughts from the judges. The problem is this. Given a list of problem difficulties, how many combinations can you form of a given size so that when sorted, the difficulty of every problem after the first two is less than or equal to the sum of the difficulties of the immediately previous two problems? So for that first example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see that 1 plus 2 is 3, so we can put 3 after those two. 2 plus 3 is 5, so we can put 4 after that. You can work through each of those other examples and see that they all work. That second example, that's the Fibonacci sequence. It's longer, and we're choosing five problems, so there are a lot more candidate combinations, but still only four of them work. And they all, only four work because of that Fibonacci escalation. It's a lot more difficult to find uh, two small ones that add up to a number that's larger than one of the larger ones. So the solution here is dynamic programming. We're going to let count i, j, k be the number of ways of putting together a problem set of size k plus 1, because you know so number 0 is going to be a problem set of size 1. So problem set of size k plus 1, where problem i and problem j are the two problems in the set with the highest ratings so far. To a start, initialize that to all zeros, sort the ratings. And then for a problem set of size three, we're going to start with the base case. For a problem set of size three, go through all of those combinations, and if i plus j is greater than or equal to k, we're going to increment the count of j, k, two. You'll notice that j starts at i plus one instead of zero, k starts at j plus one instead of zero, so i, j, k are increasing in, uh, in rating. So j has to be the higher of i and j. So j and k have to be the highest two of that combination. So for more than three problems, we're going to go through i, j, and k. But we don't need to do this if there are none in the previous uh, problem count with i and j as the two largest. Can we increase the size of the set by one by including problem k, how many ways can we do that? Well, if ratings i plus ratings, k is le ratings j is greater than or equal to ratings k, then we can add in the number of things we had at one problem fewer, with i, j being the two largest. We can add that into this many problems, with j, k being the largest. And finally, we need to go through the list and find our total. So we go through i and j, total plus equals that in the last column, and we print the total, and that is the solution to this problem.